So tonight we're in Al Romancia in Jeddah. Let's go get some food. It's Saudi Arabian, so we're gonna love it. Like and subscribe. So Harry, what do you know about food in Saudi Arabia? What kind of food do you think they have? Uh, biryani. Yep. I think there's a few different rice dishes. Have you yep. heard of chicken? We've heard of chicken mandi and kabsa. Oh, Some I, rice I like and chicken mandi. dishes. I like mandi. You like mandi? And kebab? Do you think they have kebab? Yeah, definitely. Maybe. And also, oh, I've maybe. heard they're famous for their desserts too. Wow, this place is really big. Oh, that's meant to be really too, that mud good chicken. Wow, okay, this place is way bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, so you must eat upstairs. I think so, we'll have to ask. <laughs> Alright, look, the reservation's over here. Okay, this place is way bigger than I thought it was. It's a chain of restaurants that's all around Saudi Arabia, specialising in traditional Saudi food. Salam alaikum. So we'll go check it out. Salam alaikum. <laughs> Okay, we're not even in the right place. This place is so massive. This is just must be the takeaway yeah. restaurant. I thought it looked like a big food court. Yeah. Okay, he said out this way, and I think it's around this side. Here's the actual it's restaurant outside. around this side. Oh, all right. right. It's right here. Ah, all right, we try again here. This place is enormous. Hopefully we don't have to have a reservation. Okay. What do you feel like, Oscar? I feel like some chicken. Yeah? Some rice and maybe some salad and maybe some glass of some and maybe a little juice. Oh, a juice. Actually, I think they do have fresh juice. Lots of these guys have fresh juice. And some of them actually have smoothies. Maybe. All right, let's go see. Wow, this place is huge. All right, so we're here in the restaurant, and what I read online is that this is a famous restaurant in Saudi Arabia as a family restaurant. Yeah. And what can you see already up here? Lots of chicken. <laughs> lots of chicken, lots of chicken, lots of slices of chicken. But I can see lots of little cubicles, so I know there's plenty of space for families, and where ladies can come as well, everyone can relax. So we're looking forward to some Saudi Arabian food. Yeah. <laughs> Salam <laughs> alaikum. Thank you. <laughs> okay, can we please get one uh, mandi chicken? Mandi. Mandi. One kapsa. One kapsa. Um, one fatush. Fatush. One. Um, uh, which drink was that? Um, apple. One apple. Apple. Where's your apple one, Oscar? It's not there. Orange. Orange, mango, mango, and strawberry. One, this one, okay. Harry. Okay. And uh, is that lemon and lime? Uh, yes. Oh no, it's a mojito. Yeah. Lemon. One lemon. Yeah, lemon and lime. Yes, please. That's um... Follow this Mango. guy here to our seats. Okay, he said halas like right down the end. I right think. down the end. Kind of like the. Oh, okay. Otherwise, maybe it means someone else's down the end. I don't think. In here. In here. This one? Yep. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'll shoot you guys. Awesome. She's off. Right, choose a spot. My spot. This is my little corner. It's your spot. Got okay, your spot Oscar, Oscar, did you close our curtain there? Yep. All right, so we close our curtain. So this. So actually, why we close our curtains is because the woman I'm allowed to show their face here, so they have to go on these curtains in order to take it off. That's right. So then they can eat. So. Oscar's exactly right. So this is what it looks like in a restaurant in Saudi Arabia. And it's not that long since um, families have actually been able to intermingle with these restaurants. There has always been like two separate entrances for just males and then for families. But lots of people have been asking me how it is to wear an abaya here and to dress like this in Saudi Arabia. I actually have to say I love it. It's not compulsory anymore. It's not the law. But there is 
compulsory means like it's by law but so there's a big difference between like what is like required by law and what is just kind of customary and although it's not required anymore I've had so many comments mm. and so many interactions like almost yeah. I think every day, people, every day people coming up to us and just even if they can't yeah. speak in English just saying thank you and thank you for respecting their traditions yeah. and for wearing this so if you're coming it's obviously up to you now but um it's making yeah. our trip quite different which is Definitely. really really you'll get a lot more yeah, uh, local interaction. recommended for local yep. interaction and for meeting people it's a great great like, addition to our trip a for a male yeah. for a male and a buyer for a woman yep that's exactly right but the yeah kids can do whatever they want kids it's a bit more relaxed all right guys we're getting relaxed waiting for our dinner okay our dinner's arrived again okay, we're just listing out for our number which is Wahid Araba seven. <laughs> one four seven. But our dinner's here. Come sit down, Harry. I'm trying to hold the curtain. How are you? Come sit down. Good. Thank you. Can I sit down? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Come sit down, please. Let's go. I'm holding the curtain. Nice. Okay. This is how it comes, eh? That must be the... Fatouche. 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 Nice. Thank you very much. Hey. Okay. Their sauces. Ah, oh, right. look at that. Colors. Dandivad. Right. Thank you. Yeah, very good. good. <laughs> That's great. Okay, guys, explain what we got here. So, uh, we've actually... So this one's chicken mandi. mandi. Chicken mandi. And then chicken kabsa. We think this is the chicken kabsa. Chicken kabsa. And we've got some samosas. Do you want to try a samosa, Oscar? Yeah. Okay. And what's that salad you got there? And this is a fatouche salad. Fatouche salad. Okay, let us know how it is. Mm, that's so nice. Yeah. What's it? Has it got meat inside or vegetables? It's got meat and vegetables. Nice. nice. What Come do you on. got there, Harry? This one's got sort of cream. Nice. Mm. Very good. Nice. Well, it looks great. Okay, Gav, did you try the chicken kebab? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. I actually thought we'd had one before. They're like a little deep fried... Chicken pork? Chicken goodness. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's another like iconic dish. Shall I do mm. the tasty stuff? Yeah, it's really now? good. Okay, I'll have a look. I wanted to, we wanted to try these. It said that these are one of like Saudi's like well-known as street food and dish as well. Looks a bit like a falafel or? Yeah, it looks a bit like falafel, yeah. Chicken, nice! Yeah, it's good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Harry, show us. I'll show you how to eat with your hands. So you get some, you, put, you go to grab it like this, put your thumb under. So you basically just sort of push it in with your thumb. Nice, how is that, that one, Harry? It's good. And it's on the rice here? I really like the chicken. Right. Nice. Okay, so what's the difference? What's the difference here? Well, everything, everyone seems to think that it's the same as biryani, but we understand that the difference of mandi and biryani, so you can have chicken mandi, chicken biryani, but the difference is that with mandi, the chicken, the meat is added to the rice after it's cooked. So, so it's the not rice is all in it. The rice so for this one. Only for this one. Sorry, this one. <laughs> This one, the kabsa, the kabsa is cooked differently. The kabsa is like a traditional Smoked. like Arab dish from all of the Gulf countries. Right. But most popular, most famous, most well known in Saudi Arabia. Right. And the mandi, I think the mandi actually comes, might be a Yemeni dish. Mm -hmm. So it's like smoky kind of chicken on top. Is it mandi or mandi? I think mandi, it's I do work on my, my pronunciation. It's... But it's a, it's actually a dish originating from Yemen, but it's really popular here. It's beautiful. I think it's cooked in a tandoor oven, the meat, and then put on the rice after. Oh, nice. So, yeah, it's great. So, right now I'm doing a demonstration of how to eat the chicken with your hands. What you're meant to do is first always use your, always uh, use your right hand to eat. Um, there, you always have to use your right hand. If you saw right. one of our videos, we actually got this red bracelet because um, that's, that's the hand they use every day. And you just pick it up and. But if you want, you can get the spoon and have some chicken, but I like to dip it in the sauce. Nice. <laughs> nice, that's good. Oh, well, Wait. guys, that's dinner. How, how was it? I would rate it um, maybe a 9 out of 10. It did take a while for the food to eat, but it's so worth it. <laughs> nice, I loved okay. the chicken and the rice. 
Ah, good stuff. And that's exactly what it came here for. I loved it. I really think I preferred the mandi over the kabsa tonight, so I would go with the mandi. But there's one thing I can't get used to here, and it is that at least this one had big metal trays, like dishes for it, but it's all served on a big plastic. We should, we'll show you next time, but it's not very nice to watch. But at the end, it's all served on a big plastic tablecloth. So they literally, when you're finished, they tip everything from the they, platters um, they grab onto the sheet. Side and they tie it up. And they just and tie up the sheet. So it has everything it has. If you had any drinks, any um, cutlery, everything, any tissues, so everything. So there's no goes. recycling. So there's no recycling. There's no rubbish. Yeah, it's an absolute delicious dinner. Awesome environment. Great experience. Yeah, how was yours, Harry? But it was, I, I, I I enjoyed it so much. I would prefer the Kabsa over the Mandi. True. I'm gonna because go with I Mandi. think the Mandi I think the Mandi was a bit wetter and I think the um the Kabsa was smoked, like more grilled. Mm. So I, I prefer nice. it. Nice. Great experience and would totally recommend it. Yeah. And Jida, Damam, Riyadh, wherever you are, would recommend it. Yeah. Our romance, yeah. Yeah. Personally I would have had the mandi chicken on the kabsa rice because I preferred the, the tendor meat. chicken okay. meat yep. but I preferred the white rice because it was a lot more sort of wetter like yeah right. and wow. we'll see you on the next day see you on the next day see you on the next day